Welcome back, friends. We're certainly glad you've joined us today. Today we're going to be painting a beautiful sunset. If you are uh, following along at home, you can uh, see the colors that are going across the screen. And those are what we're going to use today. We'll start out and just light brushes all across the canvas, all the way across. This is an 18 by 5 pure stretched canvas and just light quick touches, just quick, quick touches. There. How about that, friends? And do it again down here for some water. Before the show, I already covered this canvas in a pure coat of liquid white so that everything can blend really easily. Make sure you really get to the edges. Don't want to leave the canvas white. There. Ha, huh, so fun. We will continue with some crimson. And again, not very much on the brush. Just light, light touches. Beautiful. Quick back and forth motions and blend that all the way through to the foreground. Now I'm going to switch to my 13 inch brush and we will take some blues because everybody knows the sky is blue. And we'll just dash the brush, dash it against the, the canvas like this. You see how this is creating lots of really cool lines? That's because the brush that I am using was not properly cleaned. Mm, that looks very nice. All right, to continue, we will take our one inch brush and get that nice and wet, but not too wet. We don't want it to blend like crazy. And we are going to be creating our mountains. So lots of little black, make a pretty dark green. And just wherever you like, just like that. Very good. And just let that fill up. Beautiful. See how my colors are nicely blending? And we're going to add another little mountain because every little mountain needs a friend. You know, time really does fly when you're having fun. And just like that. Now we're done with that color, so clean off the brush and just whack the devil out of it. Ugh. Perfect. Now we will take some white and this is for the snow on the mountains. We will just like add a little bit along the edge and just let it fall. Just let it fall. Beautiful. Hope you guys are following along just like that. Now we will add some trees. We draw our line. Beautiful. Just push off the brush. Ah, we could spend all day here. Well, there's not really much else to do. Now, make you sure you get your nice dry brush. All you do is pull straight down. Wow. Reflections used to be really hard for me. But now, they're so easy. We must make sure that there's a water line. So take a little bit of white. And just along the edge. Hmm. Wonderful. And just let your brush touch the canvas. Just like a gentle of caress of somebody that you're not allowed to be within six feet of. Beautiful. Mm. Now, we are going to add another little tree because every tree needs a friend. Mm. And just dodge back and forth. Nothing really to it. Just let your brush do the, do the work. 
Now comes my favorite part again. Just beat the devil out of it. Just like that. Get some more of that color. And just gently. Mm. Just like so. Get some more. Yes, just like that. And just lots of long strokes, just like this. Ah, well, no mistakes here, just happy little accidents. Don't worry. Nothing to worry about. We will just go back with some more of that green. Now I got some blue and that's unexpected, but the best things happen when it's unexpected. Beautiful. Wonderful. Whoa, that was a close one. Wonderful. Didn't clean the brush. There's no need. And just right across the bottom. Oh yes. That is wonderful. So take some white and just right through there. Mmm. Just like that. The little clock on the wall tells me that we're almost out of time. Ah oh, yes, that looks good. Let's take a closer look. Wait a minute. Friends, I have accidentally painted on the plastic wrap. We can start all over again. And that's a really fun way to use your canvas two times. Thanks for joining us, friends. And remember, God bless.